friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. So today we are talking about spring essentials. Last video I talked about spring trends and some of my personal favorites and how I plan on wearing them, but I figured today I would show you some of the staples in my wardrobe for the spring season that I feel like will really carry you through all of your outfits as well as a lot of the trends that you're seeing out there right now. Last video I didn't really talk about the statement making out there trends, uh, they were kind of more the basic style trends that I personally gravitate towards but these spring essentials are going to be able to create outfits with the spring trends that I showed you as well as some of the other more out there statement making spring trends on the market. I feel like these items are spring essentials for me regardless of the year and the trends. I feel like these have always been kind of my go-to spring summer vibes. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the very first spring essential. So the first spring essential is actually on my body already. It is the straight leg jean. I feel like the these jeans in particular have made it into so many different videos. They made it into best of videos, trend videos, haul videos. I just, I wear them very often and I feel like they are both trendy as well as a staple. Now I feel like jeans are not revolutionary in terms of an essential. I feel like everybody always has a go-to pair of jeans that they love for the spring season. These are kind of my go-to for any jean style outfit for the spring season. Because the straight leg is super in style right now, I feel like it's really easy to pair with just about anything, whether it's a statement top, whether it's just a basic t-shirt like this tucked in. Um, straight leg jeans just, I feel like, look so good and there are so many different ways to style them. There's also a whole set of different types of straight leg jeans. These are the straight leg uh, rib cage jeans from Levi's, but I have a few favorites from Everlane and Old Navy as well. Again, I feel like the straight leg jean is one of those essentials because it goes with just about any style, any trend, whether you're doing like the 70s retro prints, which is super in, the big oversized Henley shirts that are also in. I feel like there's so many different ways to wear it, uh, whether you're trying to be trendy or classic. So the straight leg jean is definitely an essential for me this season. All right, I pulled up a stool for spring essential number two, and it is chunky gold jewelry or layerable gold jewelry. Again, I don't feel like this is a new essential. This is one of those essentials that are actually probably in every single video because I don't really ever take them off. Uh, and I feel like they are so classic. They never go out of style, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is I wanted to show you guys some of the essentials for the season, for springtime, that I almost always use year after year. Uh, so gold jewelry, I feel like I started to have an affinity for probably two or three years ago. Uh, and you'll probably see me wear the same gold jewelry in pretty much every single one of my videos. My personal philosophy is investing in real gold jewelry um, or at least gold plated jewelry so that it lasts throughout the years and you don't really have to replace it. It's kind of the philosophy of having essentials to begin with. Something that kind of stays in your closet and you don't really have to discard because it's turned colors or anything like that. So you'll probably have seen me wear these like thin layerable ones um, but for the season I actually got these chunkier pieces uh, recently and I feel like they are that statement that I wanted in a lot of my pieces and a lot of my outfits um, but again aren't so out there that they'll ever go out of style this set here um, the earrings the necklace and the bracelet are actually from Monica Venator uh, I will leave the links down below but pretty much any chunky gold jewelry again is going to go with every outfit every trend that you might be playing around with having fun with every style no matter what your style if it's classic or like super fun and colorful I feel like a good gold statement piece of jewelry um, that is timeless and not too out there is really one of those essentials uh, not just for the spring season but for any season and for me obviously wearing into the spring season. Spring essential number three is definitely not going to be a surprise to you. You probably saw me live in it all last year but it is still a very strong spring essential for me spring and summer essential and it is the biker shorts now i feel like this has really played into the athleisure vibe that we've been in these past couple years and to be honest i am here for this trend to stay forever because these are definitely essentials for me 
around the clock uh, no matter what I'm doing whether I'm dressing up dressing down I just love the look of a biker short I feel like there's a lot of different ways you can play around with the biker short look you can wear it with a blazer you can wear it with an oversized hoodie for a casual look uh, there are some people who can even dress it up I definitely have tried with like a moto jacket and like a party top when there were parties to go to but biker shorts in general I feel like are so versatile they're also super comfortable and you guys know that my biggest philosophy when it comes to style is something that you're comfortable in. Now there are definitely a ton of different ways to wear biker shorts and a ton of different biker shorts on the market. There's definitely ones that are part of corn cord sets uh, that are really really trendy right now and a bunch of different really fun pastel colors for the springtime so that's something that you can look into too for me I feel like these black ones are pretty much the ones that I wear on heavy repeat uh, so these are the ones that I would invest in I actually have three pairs of this exact one and these are the Align Lululemon shorts in the six inch I believe uh, but again you can play around with different colors, you can wear them with different tops, they are just so versatile and comfortable and they are most definitely a big spring essential for me. Oh, hello there, I didn't see you. I just thought I would have some fun with it. The next spring essential is also one of these spring trends that I think I talked about last video and it is the oversized Oxford shirt. Now, again, the trends and the essentials are kind of mixing up, but that's really because I'm talking about my personal preferences here, and quite frankly, the trends that I gravitate towards are typically my essentials. But the oversized Oxford shirt, I feel like, is such a great essential to have for the spring season. So easy to layer on top of anything. It almost acts and doubles as a sort of light jacket. You can obviously wear it a bunch of different ways. I kind of talked about a couple of different ways that you can wear it in my trends video. Um, but I just feel like it is such a versatile piece that you can wear with a skirt. You can wear it with biker shorts like I'm wearing right now. You can layer it underneath a sweater. There are just so many different ways to wear it. So for me, it makes it a really, really strong spring essential when you can use it in so many different ways. And that's kind of how I base my essential philosophy is if I'm finding myself gravitating towards it a lot, if I'm finding myself incorporating it a lot into a bunch of different outfits, that to me makes it a really big essential um, and something that has a lot of staying power in my closet. And if you guys know and you've been with the channel, you'll know that I'm really trying my best to kind of focus in on my style and that classic look that I feel like will carry me through um, the ages and my eras and my life in general and are just styles that I feel like I gravitate towards. Anyhow, Oxford shirts are bomb.com in general, but the oversized look is definitely what is hot right now. Um, and for me, I feel like actually makes it more versatile just because there's so many different ways you can style it on your body. This one here in particular is from Everlane, uh, but there are a bunch that are from Zara or H&M, uh, pretty much any fashion brand will have an Oxford shirt. You just wanna make sure it's oversized, a classic fit, um, just so that you can make sure that it lasts in your closet. And we are here for this spring essential. I was like, do I put this on to show you or do I put it just up to the camera and show you? The next trends we're gonna be talking about are footwear and footwear essentials for the spring season. Um, and the first one that we're gonna be talking about is the little black boot. Again, this I feel like I would also include in my fall essentials, um, maybe even winter essentials and summer essentials uh, round up just because again, they are so versatile and I feel like the essentials that I talk about that I feel like could go into different essential season roundups are the ones that are truly year-round essentials. Anyhow, the little black boot is most definitely a big essential for me in the spring season. I feel like there are so many different ways to wear it. Again, you can wear it kind of like this, very casually. You can dress it up. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with like a leather jacket. There are just so many different ways to wear a black booty. Now, I have a few things that I look for when I'm looking for a black booty, and one of the things is how it hugs my ankle. I personally have a size 10 foot, and so naturally a lot of the shoes and a lot of the boots that I find have really large ankle openings. 
Um, and so they don't look very nice, but I feel like the trick to having a little black boot that looks so good and so chic with any outfit is the way that it hugs your foot and your leg. These both kind of have elasticy elements to them, which definitely helps when it comes to how it hugs your ankle. They are both from Everlane. These are the pointed re-knit boots and then these are their classic Chelsea boots. These are definitely my go-to for pretty much anything and they're also really, really comfortable. You also wanna find black boots that you're gonna be comfortable in, so I recommend kitten or smaller heels. There are obviously the lug boot versions of them too. Bottega Veneta kind of made it the thing uh, from the winter season, but I feel like it can be worn into the spring season as well, uh, basically categorized by this really chunky sole. Uh, so these are definitely a great one to have as well. I'm not as classic as something like the Chelsea boot, uh, but definitely super fun. Regardless of your style, I feel like a little black boot is so great and such an essential for the spring season. I feel like a broken record because you've definitely seen this in a ton of different videos and you've heard me mention it before, but it is the sneaker and I feel like Although I want to omit it because it's really nothing new, I have to say it because it really is an essential. And we just, we gotta be honest, you know? To find an essential sneaker, I feel like there's a few things that I personally look out for. One of the biggest things is the color. So having a neutral pair of sneakers, for me particularly, I gravitate towards white. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to pair with a bunch of different outfits, which again, is our essential philosophy here. Uh, but for me, there are different types of sneakers that I gravitate towards. Something chunky might be for something a little bit more statement. Um, a running shoe like this might be for something more casual. But regardless, the reason why sneakers have to be mentioned in this is because they are the most comfortable thing to wear. And so naturally, especially in our new normal, they have become so essential in my day-to-day -day life and my day-to-day -day style. And I feel like style is really representative of what's happening in our lives and the sneaker and the sweatsuit is probably what is happening in my life right now and everybody's lives around the world. But having a good white pair of sneakers to kind of go to goes with so many different outfits and so many different styles. And again, it's comfortable, so it had to be mentioned as one of our spring essentials. I have a couple of favorite sneakers. Uh, the ones that I'm wearing right now are the newest pair. They're more of a running shoe, uh, just because I've been doing a lot of walking recently. These are the Adidas Ultra Boots in the all white. You guys know that I have my acne designer sneakers um, that are also in white, a little bit chunkier, a little bit more statement making. And I also really like the Everlane ones um, with the gum sole. It kind of gives you that retro kind of vibe and look. But there are a ton of white sneakers on the market. Obviously Adidas makes really good ones as well, like the Stan Smiths. Whichever ones you decide to choose or have in your closet, as long as you wear them and they're comfortable, that is what makes it essential. And that is it for my spring essentials video this year. I feel like we talked a lot about my essential philosophy, but I feel like I just wanted to like level set with you and share with you some of the things that have been kind of going through my head and my closet and kind of where I'm focusing my attention to and these essentials are definitely them. In fact, in my head, I feel like I challenge myself to just use these essentials sometimes in my outfits so you can really see what I need and what I don't. It is an ongoing journey. Anyhow, I hope you guys like this video. I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below what your spring essentials are. If there's something that you can't live without for the spring season, I would love to be influenced by you. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you did like this video and videos like this, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. And if you're new to the Inspired family, thank you so much for giving this video a watch. We hope you'll join us for a bit longer and subscribe. But with that, I'm gonna go do some TikTok dances, maybe some reels. I don't know. They're the same thing, right? I hope you all have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.